What's up, YouTubers? Bunch of Vapors here. Got a new box mod to show you guys, and it's the Segeli T150 touchscreen temp control device. I'll put links in the description below where I got it, and price, $99.99. Let's go straight into it. This is how the box looks like. Side comes in three different colors, silver, black, and the rose gold. I got the rose gold, the back, little technical specifications. Could pause the video and look more at it, but uh, yeah. And the side, it's got a Segeli hologram and a QR code. Nothing else comes in a box besides instruction booklet and a warranty card. Not even a USB cable, and we'll, we'll, we'll tell you a little later on why. It's how the box looks like. It's a pretty small box mod. It's smaller than the, the original 150TC. And you know what? It feels like more like the, the original Segeli 150, that kind of material. It's aluminum alloy. It is super light, even with two batteries. All right, we got the screen right here. Touch screen. Sorry, it's locked. But uh, yeah, the side is a Segeli. The back, we got magnetic door cover. The side's only one fire button. Some venting holes on the bottom. And the back. That's it, it's held by five magnets. Inside, the battery contacts are not spring-loaded and they're copper. Copper plated. Again, battery door is very strong. No rattle to this, this device, since it's only one button right here, but no button rattle. And it's kind of cool, it's got little chrome accents, like, you know, like, what's that, um, the Segeli 100 Watt Plus? But it's not that big. And you see the 510 connection. It is not spring loaded. Not spring loaded. But if you look inside, it's a copper pin down there. It's protruding out a little more. So with any kind of RDAs or tanks, it makes perfect contact. Every tank I put in there, RDA fires perfectly. And it sits pretty, f not all the way flush piece. If you can see this 510 right here, it's a little, it's protruding out a little. I kind of like that because Sometimes it's a con for some people, but for me, it doesn't scrape up the mod. Especially with this kind of coating right here. If you just screw it down flush, you know, it makes all these scrape marks. But right now, no. So yeah, it's not a spring-loaded 510, but again, every tank I put in there works perfectly. Alright, let's go straight into the mod right now. Again, there's no USB port, so it's just plain old mod. From It goes from 5 watts to 150 watts. From 0.2 to 3 ohms. And it only does nickel. It doesn't do any other temp control. I don't understand why. This is a brand new device that came out in 2016. And it doesn't do titanium, stainless steel, no TCR functions. I don't every other mod out there has it's it's a basic. Like everything everyone's got at least titanium and stainless steel. And if a bonus, some 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 mods come with TCR settings. But this one, none of that. Alright, let's just dive. You know what? We'll take a look at the mod. You got your time. You see the temperature 30 degrees Celsius. It's not to your tank, it's to the mod it's sensing. How hot or how uh, what's the temperature temperature like for the mod? Your battery it shows two battery indicators, and you got your watts, puff counter. This is your resistance, your voltage, and your second how many seconds you take pure pure vape. So when you're holding on to it, let's just say it's like ten seconds. It'll show ten seconds. But uh, yeah, how do you change the wattage? See this? Just hold the button. Just tap the screen. It goes up tab it goes down and if I hold on to it we'll see how fast it goes from 150 down to z 5 all right pretty fast from 5 watts uh, from 150 down to uh, 5 this one button right here I'm at one icon you just press it it goes into nickels temperature control that's it once again it's only nickel 500 uh 200 to 600 degrees and you got your lock and unlock button and then you got your little um menu screen overtime settings screen settings puff limit language time settings and that's it really and you got the help tells you a little information about the mod 
All right, so that's really it. Nothing else. It takes a little used to because we're also used to like, you know, physical buttons. You got your fire button and wattage up and wattage down. But this one, you just hit the screen. And once you're done hitting this, once you're done setting your, your, your temperature, your temperature or your watts, you must hit this lock button in the middle. If you don't, every time when you hold on to it, wattage is just up, down, you hit the menu, menu button, you know, um, I, uh, menu screen comes up and it just screws up your vape. That's it. Yeah, really. It's it's a pretty nice mod. It's pretty small and, again, really lightweight. Compa uh, compared to the Cuboid, oh, that thing was heavy. Cuboid, um, what else? The RX200, that one's heavy, even without uh, with the batteries. But without the batteries for that one's light, but this one's light too. Even with the batteries, so it's not bad. It's a it's a cool mod, and all your 22, 23, 24, and 25 RDAs, millimeter RDAs or tanks fit perfectly. I don't have a 30 millimeter tank, so I couldn't really tell you, but everything fits perfect. No overhang, no nothing. It's pretty towards the center, but it's not really in the center, but it's good enough where there's no overhang. So price wise, ninety nine ninety nine. Would I buy this again? No. Too many cons. I'll tell you why. First, it's hundred fifty watts. Normal devices right now they're like two hundred watts for weight, and it's cheaper. Plus, it doesn't temp control works, but it's only for nickel. Missing titanium, missing stainless steel, and missing TCR functions. No USB firmware updates. I don't believe this. For a touchscreen device, and there's no USB um, uh, upgrades. You cannot charge this device. I mean, you cannot charge your batteries with the, the, this device. So you need an external charger. Not that I recommend using, you know, a box mod to charge it. But, um, yeah. Some people, you know, I don't know. Some people charge their batteries with the device out there. Again, I don't recommend, but uh, yeah, no USB ports, so you know there's no more upgrades to this device. And what else? That's about it, and the price for $99.99. If this thing was like $49.99, all right, we got, we can justify the price a little, 50 bucks for a 150 watt device and no firmware updates or anything. But for $100, it's a little steep for this this mod right now but i guess it's the first touchscreen device from sigeli and another one i think they have it's a smy 100 watt box mod but that one's i'm a little finicky about the smy products but you know sigeli's top notch they, they, they're known for you know good products but 99.99 that's online some vape shops might have it for 120 130 so, oh yeah, let me just put on an Addy, right? Uh, a tank. A ch this is the Aroma Riser. What's that? Uh, Supreme RDTA. It's a 25 millimeter tank, 7 mil capacity, and it's pretty big. And you can see it, there's no kind of overhang. No kind of overhang. And I have this in this tank right now. I have a 0 0.14 bill. See, look what happens. When you try to fire it, remember I said it, it's only stable down to 0.2? This is a big con for a lot of people. People like to build lower than 0.2. Some people do, some people don't. But if you're one of those people that do build lower than 0.2, or you buy coils like the TMV4, some of them come like a 0.15, this thing will not fire out. All right, let's just say 104 watts. <clears throat> Look what happens. Check atomizer. Check atomizer because I have a 0.14 build on this tank and it will not fire it. So you must build 0.2 and above. So that's it really for the Sigeli T150. Thanks for watching. As always, vape safe, vape on. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more vape vaping products. Like it, like the video, dislike it if you don't like it. And I'll see you vapors on the next episode.